London Tamani, aka KB, KO in 12. You've heard it here first. So, get to Manchester, get to the Curry Mile, get to the AO Arena and watch a mere card win. I'm hoping internally for a mere card in 12 to win this fight. Steaming up my windscreen, bro. Talking too much, bro. <laughs> I'm with my boy Sajid. We're heading to the Amir Khan Cal Brook fight night. Possibly it could be the end of one of their careers today. It was a very long wait to get the tickets. We had to go online twice, waiting 20 minutes in the queue. As you all know, tickets sold out within the space of 10 minutes, despite us already being there. Had to buy on the resale market. Heading from the south to Manchester. It's a four hour journey but here somehow turned into six due to Sergeant's driving. I've been driving two hours, bro. I've been... got pain, bro, on the backside. Give a prediction for the fight. Khan getting chinned in three, bro. And Papa Dom chin is getting slapped. So yeah. Sergeant, just focus on the road. Yes, bro. <laughs> okay. So this is my first fight. I've been watching boxing for like 15 years, but this is my first fight that I'm actually going to. And I'm happy because it's a proper grudge match. So I always wanted to be part of a grudge match, like be there, see it, real beef. So I'm kind of, I'm excited, man. I'm really excited. Got to Manchester. How are you feeling before the fight? Hungry, bro. Time to get some food, get some munchies, and then head to the fight. Trafford Centre, AO Arena. Yeah. Khan and 12. Nah, Brook and 4, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying. Khan's getting chinned tonight, bro. Let's see. This is his last dance, bro, tonight. Yeah. So what I have to respect about Khan is he's got a lot of young Asians coming up on the card as well. There's yeah. his brothers, Ibrahim Nadim, his cousin, obviously himself topping the bill. Yeah, bro, that's that's a good thing about Khan. He's paved the way for a lot of us, like Asian, especially Asian boxers. He's paved the way for them to come into the game. And like, be able, especially on his undercard, you know, performing in Manchester around his own people, bro. So that's... Sick in it, like there's Adam Azim, his brother, mm. Abdul Khan as well. I don't know if he's on the televised circuit, I think he is actually. That's the um, Khan effect, isn't it? Yeah, bro. So, you know, Mick Jelly, Khan's first trainer, first ever trainer, said this is the Khan effect because they're getting floods of young boxers coming into their gym. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. It's, good for, it's good for boxing, bro. But look how long it's taken like 20 years from yeah. when he won the Olympics. Yeah. <laughs> Touch it, hand. Reach it out. Touch it, me. Touch it, you. Sweet Caroline. Good times never seem so good. So good, so good, so good. and millions watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get Fighting pride of Bolton, England. 
Establish the jab. Come on, Amir. Establish the jab. Box and move. Box and move. Box and move. Round three. Calm it down. Kel must be winning on points, though. Not looking good for Amir. Brooks behind the jab. Khan hasn't responded to any punch, bro. This might get stopped soon. Bro beat in round what seven. That breaks my heart. That breaks my heart. That is fight over. Fight over, bro. I told you, Khan will get chinned, bro. He got chinned. I'm heartbroken, absolutely heartbroken. I thought he could get this on points. You got gave that chicken dance as well, live, bro. I swear it. Round one, round three, round six, every round, bro. And I was doing skanky legs, bro. That being said, that does not take away from the Amir Khan effect. The things that he did for British boxing have only really been done, yeah, I believe, yeah, yeah. by Anthony Joshua. And he inspired an entire generation of boxers. Yeah. So I think we still have to respect Khan for that, despite yeah, the loss. levels below book now, bro. But who, 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 who would you rather be right now? With right now, money, be Brooke, bro. with money, with legacy, would you rather be Amir Khan or would you rather be Cal Brook after this win? I'll have the pride of Brook, bro. He'll walk out and be remembered as the better fighter, bro, with his chin high, bro. Khan's gonna be walking with his chin down. I'm absolutely heartbroken. He smashed that Papa Dom chin, bro. I don't know if he will be exercising. Papa Dom chin got smacked up. I do not know if he will be exercising his rematch clothes on this. But he'll be dumb if he does that. So then the inevitable question has to be, what is next for Amir Khan? Sajid, would you share your answer on that? Retirement, bro, best thing. Retire, go home. Live with your family, bro. What about some exhibition boxing a la Floyd Mayweather? Nah, nah, he can't. He ain't got the right to do that, bro. He's not got no rights to do that. He's... He, his chin, he's never had a chin, but now his legs are gone as well. You know what I mean? His legs were all over the place from the first round. One shot, his legs are buckling. He's like buckaroo, that guy. I want to try and find some redeeming features in his in his performance. I think he started well. He started with speed. I think he troubled Brooke a little bit in the first couple of rounds. You have nothing to say on that. Bro, he always does that, and it comes in a little bit flashy and that, peppers you with a little shots and that. And as soon as he gets clipped, bro, he's done. He's done, bro. But I am absolutely heartbroken. All the way from south to sea, Khan. When you see it live, bro, you see the small things that you don't see on camera. You'll see like the ankle buckle, you'll see like the knee buckle, you'll see his legs cross a bit more than you'd see on, on TV, innit? And you can see it straight away from round one. His legs are getting tangled and he ain't even been hit yet. You know what I mean? What do you think about his conditioning heading into the fight? Training with Bomac, legendary trainer of obviously Bud Crawford. Don't matter, bro. It lasted six rounds. It don't matter what you're conditioning, bro. You, if you train for 15 rounds, man got popped in the sixth round. But he was doing four-minute rounds, sparring more extensively than before. He, he was more on his game than he's ever been before, perhaps even saying he was in better condition than he ever was before. You can't train a chin, bro. You can't train a chin. You can wrap your hands, but you can't wrap your chin. Apparently, there was some glove issue before this and that is why Kel was delayed in coming out so is there something nefarious that has gone on that has led to Khan's
demise here. That is a question I put out. There were rumours circulating and that's why it was so delayed. So something to look into. You know, Khan stipulated so many things in the contract. The weight, um, walking out first, bro. The rehydration clause. Um, him being the A-side, bro. Obviously, control. Rematch he was, clause. Yeah, the rematch clause. Obviously, the, the, the percentages as well. But he stipulated everything into his favour. He tried... He tried to he tried to pull every string in his favor, yeah, and he still got banged. So there's nothing, nothing in Khan's like I can't praise him for anything. Can't praise Khan for anything in that fight. But then this we're coming back to to legacy. Yeah, unified a division. Yeah, look, Khan had a great, you know, he had a great career. Legend, on. legendary career, I would say. Yeah, he had a great career, bro. I mean. But, you know what I mean? If he had taken this Brook fight five years ago, I still think it would have been the same outcome. We're walking the streets of Manchester. It has been heartbreaking, disappointing. He's gone, man. Hey, bro. I want crisps. I'm upset, bro.